Okay, as you guys know, my opinion on AI tools and how they integrate into your e-commerce business has stayed pretty steady thus far. As new tools are constantly introduced, I start to see like how some of them can be a little bit gimmicky, but there are tools at the same time as AI continues to improve and get better that can become more applicable to actually selling on Amazon or having an e-commerce store in general. A lot of these tools as you'll find and that I've come across tend to be like data aggregators so they can take a lot of data that's on the internet or on different various websites and platforms and be able to aggregate them and kind of paint you a picture of information that can be useful to your business. Now ChatGPT is its own separate thing and that has a lot of applicable functions for running an e-commerce business. I use ChatGPT all the time. I think it is personally a very useful tool. So when I came across this new tool that I'm about to share with you and found out that it was integrated with ChatGPT and it had a lot of these features that directly apply to my business and that I can see like the tactile like reasons for having it and the ways that I can directly integrate it so that it actually makes a difference and it's not just a gimmicky tool. As soon as I saw that this tool actually had these attributes, I was very excited to try it, was absolutely pleased with the results that I saw from it and what I was able to do with it. So I'm very excited to share it with you today. This tool is called VOC.AI. If you've never heard of it before, there's a couple things that this tool can do, but today there are specifically two things that I wanna go over that I think it has the most applicable use cases for when it comes to your Amazon business. So let's go ahead, jump into my screen, and let's talk about exactly what I've been using this tool for and how I think it can benefit you in growing your brand. Okay, so here we are on voc.ai's website. It's important to know exactly what this tool is doing. So. This tool is aggregating all of the reviews and customer insight into any keyword or niche or specific ASIN to give you a broader picture of what the market is saying about this product. I haven't seen too many that are able to do exactly what VOC is doing and the information that it actually gives you has a real applicable use case and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So just keep in mind when you're putting in your keyword right here or your ASIN, the reason that this is so useful is that if you're a new seller on Amazon and you're trying to do a lot of market research into your niche, the number one way that you would do that is through reviews of your competitors. You're gonna search out all of your competitors. You're gonna search out who's doing the best, who's kind of doing the worst, what you need to do in order to differentiate your product in that market so that you can become visible and succeed and actually provide value in that market. And in the old days, how you would do this is you would go through Amazon, you'd look up all your competitors, you'd scroll down, look through all the reviews, try to sort them, try to like, have a notepad on the side and make notes about, you know, what are customers saying that they like about this product? What are customers saying that they hate about this product? What is it missing? What are some main issues that it's having? Why is it being returned so much? Why is it getting a one star versus a five star review? All these things. It's a lot of data to try to research and analyze yourself. VOC is actually doing that for you. Now, in other cases, if you're already an established brand, one thing that you can do is look up your own ASIN, your own keywords, to figure out exactly what customers are already saying about you. If you've been a brand on Amazon for a long time, that's probably not a huge issue for you. I'm sure that you know any successful seller on Amazon that's doing multiple five figures per month in revenue or profits on a product, you know what your market looks like. You know what customers are saying, but a tool like this is still very useful for not only your brand, but staying on top of your competition at all times. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm trying to sell a LED corner light. Like those have been fairly popular lately, so let's go ahead and look up LED corner light. If I go ahead and search that, it's going to come up with some products that contain LED corner lights. So these are my Amazon competitors. What I can do and what you're gonna wanna do is select as many as are applicable to your business. So if you know your main competitors in the space, you're gonna wanna make sure that you select those. But really anybody that has a good review count and decent ratings, you're gonna wanna include those as well. So we're gonna include a couple more of these. You can select up to 50 at a time. What you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do in this part is just select enough competitors that have enough review counts to gather data from and that are closely related to your product so that you know that you're getting applicable feedback on specific things about your product that correlate to your brand as well. So let's go ahead, I've selected 10 competitors here. We're gonna click AI Analyze. 
and it's going to create our report down here in the bottom. So what we've done is essentially pulled in over 3000 reviews that VOC is going to analyze for us and give us this report on the market feedback. The first thing you're gonna notice right here is the customer profile. This is the who, when, where, what is buying this product. Some of these things may pertain less to your product and some of them may pertain more. So for example, like who is buying this product? This is good to know that we are getting out of the four to five star rating, 31 of these are being bought for kids or a son. You know, we've got friend on here as well, daughter. For the time of day that these are being purchased for, obviously, since they're LED corner lamps, they're gonna be purchased at night. Figuring out when this is purchased for isn't quite as applicable as maybe where it's being purchased for. So it, let's say you're researching this product and you're trying to figure out the market that you wanna aim this product at. This is where this stuff becomes super valuable. You can see that the majority of people are purchasing these and talking about them being put in their room or their living room, bedroom as well, office. But see, for me in launching this product, I might initially think that people are putting it in their office, maybe their gaming setup or something like that. But for me, for example, if I was about to launch this product, I would think to myself, well, people are probably putting them in their office. They wanna work next to them or whatever. But the data showing here that primarily these are being purchased to put in people's rooms, whether they just kind of wanna deliver like a certain type of vibe or be able to change the color lighting in their room. They kind of just make really cool decorations in your room if you shoot videos in your room or really just want to change the mood lighting. I could see exactly why somebody would probably purchase this for their room. So this might be something you want to take into account when you decide what market you're aiming this at. We'll get a little bit more insight down below. So usage case, usage scenarios right here. Uh, we can see that room illumination is actually the number one reason that people are purchasing these. Ambient lighting, that could kind of go into it as well. Office lighting is on there, adjustable brightness, room decor. So these usage scenarios that we're being given can help you kind of paint the picture as to exactly who you are trying to aim this at. And just because, you know, room illumination is the first one on there doesn't mean that that's necessarily the market that you should be entering, right? Like if you are trying to position yourself differently, one thing you could do is find one of these things that may not be the top priority, but still has a decent amount of search or reason to be purchasing this product and then improve on those things. So for example, if I was aiming it towards somebody who was using it for a gaming setup or they're a streamer or something like that, I could focus on the ambient lighting aspect, the office lighting aspect, that it has adjustable brightness. I may wanna focus on some of the features that this light has geared towards that specific customer. If we scroll down to the optimization rating down here, this graph, you just gotta kinda of see what's happening in this graph to kind of understand it a little bit better. And it shows you, it goes into a little bit more depth down below. But essentially what's going on here is this X axis is showing us the star rating, the Y axis over here being the mentions. So of the two star ratings, we've got about 16% are saying that the product is not very stable. If we look up here, about 11.2% are saying insufficient brightness poor quality, remote control problems. But over here on the right side, we can see the things that people are happy with, which is very easy to assemble, adjustable brightness and color tone, brightness, versatile lighting modes. So a lot of different things that appeal to the customer. But I'll tell you this right now, when you're launching a product, the first thing that you're gonna wanna focus on is what is the market struggling with right now for that product. So for example, if I'm looking to enter this space and I want to aim it a little bit more towards the streamer section, you know, if insufficient brightness is a problem, I can make sure that I'm sourcing one that gets bright enough to appear on video. I can make sure that the product is extra stabilized somehow, whether it's adding more durability to the legs of it, or maybe adding a different type of stand or integrating some type of securing feature, making sure my quality is good, making sure that the remote control doesn't have any issues or connectivity issues. Again, this is where the value of VOC.ai comes into play. You are not going to get this type of market research this easily for products. So you can see down here, number one negative topic for feedback is product instability, insufficient brightness, poor quality. If you can focus on improving those things, bringing that product to market, and then marketing those aspects of the improved product, that is how you're going to succeed on Amazon. Of course, down here we have the positive feedback topic as well. We have buyer motivation. So what is causing people to purchase this the most? Great value and price, obviously. The brightness and light quality. Again, as you can see, this is just painting a larger picture about what the market is asking you for when they look for this product. 
If you've done your product research and you know that a product like this is in demand, then your next step is simply just figuring out exactly what they're asking for when they want this product. Being able to deliver them exactly what they're hoping for is just starting the domino effect of a successful product on Amazon. You're gonna get positive product reviews. You're gonna get returned customers. You're going to absolutely explode onto page one. PPC advertising becomes so much easier. Everything just works when you listen to the customer. Okay, so after looking through all of that, there's another feature that I wanna to quickly touch on with VOC.ai, which is the social listening tool. If you are a brand and you're fairly established, or if you are a up and coming brand that's kind of modeling yourself after a larger brand, this tool is exactly what you need to figure out what's happening, what's being said around the internet about these products, what the customers are saying, what is mostly trending about these products. If anything, that's probably the number one thing for me with this tool that I find the most useful is to figure out exactly what's trending, what people are saying, and always staying up to date on the market. So for example, if we look at this Anchor Charger, if we're looking at all social media platforms, this just kind of gives us a broad spectrum view of exactly what people are saying online. But what I like to do is look into each one of these platforms individually, focus on the ones that pertain to you the most. So if I'm launching a product in the same type of market or niche that Anchor is selling in, if I'm trying to sell consumer goods or electronics, I know that there's probably a good amount of people that are going to be making reviews about my products that are gonna live on YouTube. There's a lot of people that are making TikTok videos about these types of products. So I may wanna focus specifically on those platforms. But for me in this example, I'm not quite as big of a brand as Anchor is. So I'm gonna look at what people are saying about Anchor. They're talking about travel tech essentials and accessories. And I can scroll through these posts and kind of see exactly what people are saying about it. Not all of this is going to directly apply to your product or your brand or your market. This is where you'll kind of need to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of research to figure out what type of picture they're painting, what's trending, and how it can directly apply to your brand. Scrolling down a little bit further, we can see the topic of search trends. These are just Google search trends for the keywords in the past 12 months. Anchor Charger, we can see related topics to Anchor. Down here, we can kind of get a better view of the platforms that it has been mentioned on. Key influencers that may be talking about these products and the country in which they are mostly being talked about and the country or hotspots where these topics are being talked about the most. All in all, the reason for this social listening tool, like the review analysis, is just to be able to help paint a picture in your mind about the market's desires for your brand. Listening to customers is by far the number one way to succeed in selling anything on Amazon or e-commerce in general, because so many people are not doing that. So many people are just pushing products out because it's easy to get something made and then just list it online. But I'll tell you right now, those are the brands that do not succeed. Here on this channel, we focus heavily on building a brand, gaining customer trust, and developing something, a product, a brand that's going to live for a long time. I am a firm believer that one of the only ways to do that is making sure that you're understanding what your customers want, what the market is after, any improvements that you can make to your product over time. Like I said, this isn't something that just you do one time and you're done. You will always wanna be coming back to this research. You always wanna know how you can stay on top of your game, on top of the market, ahead of your competition, and keeping your customers happy. VOC.ai is an incredible tool that I found that I will be implementing into my business. If you guys are interested in trying out VOC.ai, I've partnered with them. They have a discount link that I'm gonna leave in the description below, so you can go ahead, try this out, get 20% off, which is an insane deal for a tool like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it provides some value to you. Go ahead and leave a like if it did. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more content about building our brand in the e-commerce space. And I'll see you guys in the next one.